back on the reef's edge in about 120 feet of water. We're about to drift over a wreck. Um, so I'm gonna do a little mutton fishing. We got a couple mahi. I'm gonna see if we can grab a mutton here. I wanna get you guys with my rig. So right now I'm using these, uh, these small finger mullet. All right, so I like live bait, you know, ballyhoo, pilchard, whatever. So we got our, our live finger mullet here. Um, I got this rig and what I love about this rig is that I have 40 pound test. You only really need 40 pound test. I got about a 50 pound leader. And then this leader, that's about 50 feet of 40 pound test. Has a, a six odd circle hook at the end. And then I hooked on that, that finger mullet. And then this is the cool part with this rig is that it has a loop. So I tied a loop, I tied a loop into here and then an Albright knot right to the braid. All right, so when I reel it up, I can reel it all the way in. So literally put it like this, drop it. I let it down slow so that it does not catch um, or the, the leader doesn't come up and get all wrapped because then you have a mess. All right, so let this thing out super slow until we hit the bottom here. We are in 129 feet of water. Um, we're actually drifting out, uh, which is not usual. So drifting, you know, we'll drift all the way to probably 160 and then way back. So I hit the bottom and then I just reel up twice. Make sure your drag is set. And then I just set it, and when that mutton snapper grabs it, it's game on. Ooh. Here we go. My no. All right, fish on. Fish on. We are uh, in about 147 feet of water. Oh. Tighten it up so it doesn't get sharp. Whoo, this big fish. It's a big fish. It's a big fish. Hopefully it's a big mutton. Oh, it's not really pulling like a mutton. It's kind of pulling like a shark. Oh no. Woo! 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 Mutton! Look at the size of that mutton! Look at the size of that mutton! Woo! -hoo -hoo, baby! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! -hoo -hoo. Oh, mutton, baby! Look at that! Look at the size of that mutton! Woo! Woo, baby, you see, you see that? I love mutton snapper. Ah, look at the size of that mutton. Look at the size of that thing. Woo, I love these. These are the best tasting fish. Woo. All right, guys, a solid day. Uh, we got all those mahi out there. Um, we got them on finger mullet too. I definitely would rather pilchards. I miss so many mahi. 
um, because the the hook sets were tough um, just with the, the oversized bait but um, came in, in the reef edge, got a solid mutton I'm super excited about that mutton I have not gotten mutton in a long time so um, we're gonna run back in it's Saturday we're just gonna relax chill I think we're gonna come back out tomorrow it should be another nice day uh, and see what we can get into so let's get in there uh, and then let's do a little mutton snapper catch and cook I'm super stoked about it I'm just thinking about whew, how am I gonna cook it up hmm I could grill it could fry I don't know um, we're gonna decide that on the way in so we'll see you guys in there and make sure you stay tuned for that catch and cook The next day I had my button snapper on ice. You guys can see it all ready to go. It's officially 29 inches, um, but I haven't had a button snapper in a while. So we're gonna do a little catch and cook. Um, but first let's fillet this thing up. And um, I mean, these fillets are gonna be super, super white. All right. Start here right against the rib line. Right back of the head. All right. Here we are. Just gonna cut right across the stomach here. All right. Man, this knife has seen better days. Okay, that's not good either. Stupid. We will bend with this. Right. So I'm take my time here. Peel it right above the rib line. All that meat. You can hear it just rubbing right up the ribs. snapper this mutton snapper pretty clean all right let's clean up these fillets This knife needs sharpened bad. It's like fucking it's terrible. Won't even cut the skin. This mutton snapper. Alright. Alright. Switch to this this super smooth blade. Nice clean. All right, let's do the other side. Oh, I love mutton snapper. Look at that. Woo. I'm gonna fillet these up when I cook them, cut the bones out, but there you go. 
So we just got back from fishing. We're gonna cook up this mutton snapper. What we're gonna do today is a breaded, air fried mutton snapper that you can either put on a sandwich or so you could just eat it straight off the plate. Uh, but what we're working with today is we got our mutton snapper filet. We have our eggs for our egg wash. We have uh, seasoned breadcrumbs, salt, pepper, and then a little bit of oil, which I like to use if I'm gonna mix it into the air fryer. So let's get this thing going. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna remove, I did not remove the rest of the bones out of here. So we're gonna cut out the bones out of this fillet. Right up the bloodline here. So I always feed this stuff to the fish outside. I never waste, I like to save, use everything. Um, we're gonna have a nice fillet there, uh, and then this big chunk of fillet as well. After I got the bloodline out, what I like to do is I'll cut this up into some smaller pieces, um, and then we're gonna put that into the actual fryer. So usually chunk these things out. Like this is a solid piece of fish here. Um, but then off of the bigger filet, I'm just gonna work down. All right. Then we're just gonna cut this filet up into some bigger pieces here. Okay, so I got all my chunk filet here. The next thing is we're gonna mix up our egg wash. Put a little bit of oil in the wash, just cause it's going in the air fryer. So it helps to make it a little bit crispier. And then I have my breadcrumbs in there. Put a little bit of salt and pepper as well in those breadcrumbs. Put a little bit of the egg wash. Mix this up again. All right, then I'm gonna take my nice piece, pieces of mutton snapper, drop them in the wash, throw them in these breadcrumbs, and then we're gonna get them into the air fryer. because I'm gonna taste the fish. This is really good fish. Mutton snapper, some of my favorite. So, too much breading, I think, ruins them too. These are some nice, thick, chunk fillets here. Guys, we got our delicious mutton snapper right here. It's all ready to go. So, well, I'm gonna enjoy this mutton snapper, but thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below. More fishing and boating videos are on the way.